Okay guys, so for the first step of my makeup process, I guess I gotta grab into it. On a side note, I got this really cute like big travel makeup bag for like if I go do someone's makeup. I really like it. There's a bunch of compartments and stuff as you guys can tell and like a place to put your brushes and a holder up here. It's pretty good. I'm like, really excited about it. But the first step in my everyday makeup is my Benefit the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. This is the blue gel primer. I know I've talked about it before, but I always go to this. And I focus this mainly on my T-zone. So after I do that, I actually go in with another primer. And this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer and Shine Free. It says Controls Matte and Shine. I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys this too. It's kind of dirty. But this is more of like the silicone textured primer as you can see. And I feel like this in my T-zone mixed with the Benefit one really does help control my oil. So I've been mixing two foundations lately. I've been mixing my 102 L'Oreal Infallible and my, where is, where is she at? Uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I told you guys I would do a video on this. Um, I still, I haven't worn it alone, so I can still definitely do the first impressions on it if you guys would like. And I'm just going to take this on my Morphe E6 brush, my flat. So I just tap in and then tap all over. I know I'm going to speed this part up just so you guys don't have to watch me tap in foundation for 14 minutes. After that is done, I go in with, of course, tried and true Tarte Shape Tape. This is in light neutral. So this concealer is just the tiniest bit too light for me, but I know I'm only going to get lighter, so whatever. And I try to be pretty light with this just because the smallest amount of this goes the longest way. Like, I'm serious, a dot under your eyes will be like perfect for everything like this honestly could probably be a foundation I feel like it'd be pretty heavy feeling just because it is so like full coverage but I do think it could work I could test that out sometime for you guys I just need to buy one that's my shade or wait a few months and then we'll get one well that will be my shade because I'll be so pale So, just go in, blend all this out. So, I'm super excited. Actually, I'm going to say I did not buy anything in the Sephora VIB sale, which, girl, that was rough. I've seen so many things I wanted, but I'm like, Jamie, don't do it. Save up for the holidays. Save up for the holidays. So I did not buy anything. I'm a little mad at myself. I'm a little proud of myself. It's kind of, it's a mixed situation. But there are so many things right now at Sephora that I do want to try and that I do want. So come on Christmas, someone buy me some makeup. Someone give me some money to buy me some makeup. I don't know. Um, I really want to try the Huda Beauty foundation. I think, yeah, the Huda Beauty, the faux filter foundation. Everything that I've read about it is like saying it's like magic. And from what I can tell, like literally two pumps or like one pump of that crap on your face and like your face is like completely wonderful looking. So I do want to try that out. Um... I do, I want, a, I want a lot of things. The things I get sucked into most are lip products. And there's so many lip products I want and like want to try. But whatever. Okay, so after this, I really make sure that like my creases are like gone most. And I'm probably going to hate myself when I do this. But I'm just going to use a brush today. I'm not actually going to bake. I'm going to attempt to bake with the brush because all my camera and stuff is set up in front of me and I don't have my uh, beauty blender wet yet so 
We're just gonna make a mess and do it like this. And I am indeed making a mess. I'm glad I didn't put my clothes on for today. So just doing a bunch of powder, honestly, under my eyes. I'm gonna do it on the areas that get oily easy. So my forehead. Like I, I feel like I'm coming out of like a sandstorm or something with all this dust. My chin. Cupid's bow. Nose. Really powder my nose. Because she gets a little oily. She likes to shine. Alright, I'm going to go back in under my under eyes. Just make sure that everything is really locked in. This is going to seem like such an excess amount of powder. But what can you do? So, so I don't know if I want to make this like a chit chat get ready with me. Or like an everyday. Probably just going to go with like a chit chat. Just because. My coffee is really good this morning. That's a plus. Um, I would say the best way to ever win me over in life is to make me coffee. Like when me and Bryce first started dating nights I'd work, he would make me coffee before I went to work. It was just like magical. Like I love coffee and then I met him and he's like, Jamie likes coffee times 10. So I feel like, I feel like we'll be a perfect match in that aspect. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, since I have my base on, well, actually, I'm going to wait for this bake, and I'm going to put on some powder. So I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Powder, the same powder that I use in my first impressions video. I actually really enjoyed doing that video, so I need to do it with this Wet n Wild foundation as well. Um, I can tell just because I've been mixing it with my, um... L'Oreal Infallible Powder, that it does cut down the long wearingness of the powder or the foundation just because I do know like the day I wore this and anytime I wear this, um, especially the day I wore it, I wore it for like 11 hours I think, 10 or 11 hours, like I wore it for a long time and it looked like it still looked wonderful right whenever I took my makeup off. Um, but whenever I mix it in with this, I do notice I get oily faster, so I know already, like, if I do that first impressions, it's not going to be as long lasting, which I, like, I don't care. I don't wear makeup every day for 12 hours. I wear makeup normally from, like, 9 or 10 to, I don't know, 4 or 5. So, that aspect I'm not really that concerned about, but just notice that. I'm gonna wipe off the powder just with this really fluffy wet and wild brush. Get all the excess off me. Even though I feel like it kind of clung right there. I guess I covered everything else up. So yeah, a bunch of the holiday like collections are coming out too. I'm in love with Tarte's holiday collection. It's so bad. It's so bad. I want a bunch of stuff from it. Um, I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. I just like to do this, um, and then I fan it off. I feel like it soaks in best and works best if I fan myself after. But, um, yeah, the Tarte Holiday Collection, their little blush Bible thing is so cute. I really do want it so freaking bad, but I haven't bought it. I've controlled myself. I've done really good. I haven't bought any makeup in like a few weeks. So that's a big deal. If y'all know me, that's a really big deal. I do have a new moisturizer that I'm loving. Like I'm going to buy the full size. This is the Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I got this in my Sephora bag like two months ago. This oh, this stuff is so freaking good. I don't know if anyone else gets this like whenever they put it on, but it smells like lemon cake when I put it on, or that's like what I think of when I am putting it on. I don't know. That's that's kind of weird, but it is what I think of. And I don't know. It's just freaking awesome. I love it so much. I put it on, and I do have oily skin, but when I put it on, the next morning I wake up, I just look so fresh and like awake my skin looks so hydrated but not oily 
it's, I don't know. Like, I thought the first few times I used it, like, maybe it was just, like, a hoax, you know? Maybe, it, maybe you're just having a good skin day. But I continue to use it, and I, like, still been using it every night. And it is so freaking good, guys. Um, they have, like, a gel version, I guess. It's called, like, the Aqua Bomb or something like that. Um, I would like to try it right now. They do have a set right now on Sephora for this, uh, product for like $38 and I'm really kind of contemplating buying it I don't know though I don't know but it is it is really good I recommend it if you have oily skin but you still want a really good moisturizer um because I have I have super oily skin and this stuff moisturizes me without making me look like I just hopped out of the frying pan at McDonald's pretty well um, I'm just bronzing out my face. I really haven't been going too crazy on my bronzer. Just, I don't know why. I've just really simplified my makeup routine and I've been focusing a lot more on my eyes as opposed to my face. I'm just using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is a waterproof bronzer apparently. And my Morphe PK14. I don't know if that's going to focus. Oh, there we go. And then in kind of like my hollows where my contour would be, I use the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. And this is in Golden Days. I like this. I like the brand Makeup Revolution. Um, every time I go to Ulta, like I always check them out just because. And a lot of the time when I go to Ulta, I like really kind of steer clear from the drugstore side. Just because like a lot of the stuff they have there, I can go to my Walmart and buy if I want. So, like, if I go to Ulta, I want to look at, like, Sephora-like brands and the higher-end, like, Ulta brands. But I always make it a point to go look at this brand just because, like, they have really cute, they do have really cute stuff. And I feel like their stuff is actually really good. And a lot of their stuff is identical to some of the higher-end brands for, like, a fraction of the price. So, I mean, why not check them out? Um, I do want the new L'Oreal Infallible, like, liquid lipsticks. Those things look so pretty. Um, I've seen Casey Holmes use them. The one in Cowboy, and that's the one I really want. And I could just, like, just go to Walmart and pick it up, but I just haven't yet. So, yeah. Well, this is pretty well my base. Blush today? Do I want to get crazy? No, not really. Ooh, I have really been liking this blush for fall. And I um, had this in one of my videos. This is the Pacifica Coconut Blush, Coconut Infused Blush for your cheeks, shades, Beaming and Tender Heart, I think. Or, yeah, Beaming and Tender Heart. I got this in an Ipsy bag. And they are super pretty, actually. Um, I've been, just been using this with my Morphe PK4 blush brush, contour brush. And kind of like using them both, I'll go in with the lighter shade first and then tap it off and just tap it on. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it just adds like such a nice wash of color, a very easy wash of color. So I really enjoy these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually go in with the darker one today just because like, I don't, yeah, I am. Why not? I just don't want to be too intense. Like today I have school. I have, um, it's called Sim Day, so we go in and we go into like a lab, we have like a simulation patient, um, like I said, I am in nursing school, exciting news guys, um, my last clinical day is this Friday, um, I have next week, I either have off or I have, um, just class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I have finals the following week. I have a week off the next, and then I graduate. And then I will be done with my associates, and I just have to take my boards for my RN. So I'm super excited. This year has honestly really flown by. A lot has happened this year. Oh, I pulled out too much. A lot has happened this year, and it has flown by so quick. I was at work Sunday night, and I was like, guys, I've almost worked here a year. Like, how is that possible already? But yeah, um, start my new job January 8th. I'm so excited. Like, I don't think anyone has any idea how excited I am about my new job. The Luminizer Sisters, aka the Luminizers. 
And this is just a set. I don't know why I put this in there. But it looks like this. So it has Mary, Betty, and or Mary, Cindy, and Betty. And they did just come out with a new one I seen. Um, I think it was more of like a peachier shade. But it, they all look like this. They are really pretty. I mix these first two together a lot. I'll swatch them for you guys. They look like that. They are really pretty. Um, they honestly aren't as blinding as I first, like I figured they would be. I heard, I heard so many people like rave about these things. So I was like, these things are going to be like blinding. They really aren't honestly as blinding as I thought they would be, but I still like them. They're still very pretty for just like a sheer wash of like highlight on your skin. It's kind of what I did today. See what I'm doing. Okay. So you can see the highlight now. Okay. So yeah, I'm just, I'm taking the first shade, putting it all over my lid and then dragging the rest up, doing that on both just because it just adds a nice little base and some shimmer. Just makes you look a little more awake and Lord knows I need help with looking as awake as possible. So then I'm going to go in with, I literally don't know what the name of this brand is, Bean something. This was in an Ipsy bag. Is it going to focus? Okay, but it's just a tapered blending brush. I really like this. I use these brushes so much and I am going to go in with Silk Cream in the palette. This is probably my most used shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just putting that on the outer corner, little windshield wiper circle motions, and going in to lay down some color and dragging it up. Mostly for my everyday makeup. I don't get really wild with a lot of colors just because I just know mostly put in the neutrally browns and the yellow from Jaclyn Hills palette just to like give me some depth and dimension in my crease mostly just because I can't go to school with a bright red smoky eye because people would look at me and laugh and I don't want people to look at me and laugh but um I'm so excited for my week off so I can film so much. I have so many ideas for you guys. I just like need to get the time to do it. Okay, so that's that. Then I go in with, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, yeah, the yellow color and then the yellowy orange color right next to it. I mix those two together normally. And I just go in with these. I love this yellow color. Like, I wish... I would just wear this all over my lid and all over everywhere if I could all the time. It's just such a pretty color, especially when I do reds and like orangey smoky eyes, just to have like this yellow looking out of the top of it. It looks so pretty. So yeah, um, this is the way I can do like color without it being too wild on days when like I don't need wild ass makeup. Which I mean, every day I think people need wild makeup if they want it, but whatever. So, yep. Then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I think this is called Pukey. This is the Pukey color. And I really, I love that name. It's so easy to remember. Like, I've used this palette so much, but every time I use it, I don't, like, sit there and look down at the names as I'm using it. But... I can give you a rough idea. My Laura Lee palette, I've only used it twice. I love it though. Um, I can definitely do everyday stuff with it, but I feel like whenever I reach for that palette, I'm going to be doing a burgundy smoky eye with it. And that's what I plan to do for like Thanksgiving next week. I have so many. I have, I know I have two on Thursday. I know Bryce has at least one or two on Thursday. And then we have one on Saturday after, so. Lots of opportunities to dress up and do folly, folly festive makeup, which I'm excited about. So yeah, this is all I do for my eyes, guys, on just kind of like an everyday basis. So yes, this is this is it. Um, I'm just gonna apply some mascara and do my eyebrows, and then I will be back. Okay, guys. So I finished off the rest of my makeup. I got my eyebrows on. I got my mascara on. I am loving the Marc Jacobs Velvet Muir mascara. 
Like I said, these eyelashes are really, really, really crappy and they still do a pretty good job of making them look better. Like, I don't know if you can tell, I'll get really close. These are like really nice, like as you can see right here and like wispy and they look great. And these over here just like are a little more clumpy. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't know. It makes them, it makes them look a lot better than what they look like just using my other mascaras. So yeah, this is kind of my everyday look. Um, we can probably call it that. I'll probably just call it like my chit chat, get ready with me everyday makeup look. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am, I decided I'm going to do a swatch video for Laura Lee's palette. Um, just because I know anytime I go to buy a palette, I want to see all the colors. I want to know like kind of how they perform. So I definitely want to use them more and I want to do a full swatch video on those. Just so in case someone were ever to run across my video and see that and that be like the deciding factor, like then they know. Um, I'm going to do the wear test on the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation on this baby. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, my Ipsy bag should be coming in the next day or two. Um, I'm still super impressed at how fast my Sephora box came this month. Like, I'm seriously so shocked about that still. But yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it. Leave any requests or anything like that down below. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of me. Thank you guys. Bye.